Driving down the highways of America. People were like, you know, like the wrestling curse, like, oh, you're dying, you're back on the independent. You're not. You're keeping yourself going. You're keeping yourself out there. And, like social media, like we've been doing all day. I want to be a professional wrestler. You just thought I was bonkers. Let me be me. I'd rather continue to live my dream, go to little towns like this, fly around the world, get paid, make money wrestling, keep my name out there. Uh, eventually, I was pushed off television for a little bit, and I got fired. Well, maybe I'm not supposed to be a wrestler. That's so many different names you left about. Is that the straight edge superstar Luke Gallows, aka Thick Kane? You make your money the way you make it, and I'll make it the way I make it. You get to actually perform, and you get to be yourself because you have this big personality you get to express it on these shows like that. 30 years old, fired from my dream. When I first started in Kentucky, we had a piss bucket. At some point, if I do go back, I'll be way more well-rounded than I was there before. This is what it is. You take the goods with the bad. It won't take much to get your dick hurt. I'm not embarrassed to be in front of other people. Well, I came from these independents. From the Wrestling Road Diaries. Like, I want to do a Hell in a Cell with Festus. <laughs> Liffy Boy Comp. Captain Cox of Cold Quebec and Luke Swallows live! And I did not like being in the fucking real world. I'm not a 9 to 5 fucking guy. Maybe I have the dreamer's disease, I don't know. Uh, but I embrace it, I love it. These are the true wrestling fans, you get to interact. The satisfaction to give that wrestling fan the idea of these little towns that we can make their night, make their week, make their month, make their year, make their life. That's very gratifying and satisfying to performers like us. I was going crazy. I didn't, I didn't know what to do with myself. But on the flip side, I got a blanket and two pillows. To me, this is just another chapter in, in my wrestling career. I, I consider the road to be my college. For my father, I wanted him to be proud of his son. Hulk Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter were the first two wrestlers that I ever saw on TV. And that was what I had to do, and that's when the obsession kind of started. We're being fucked by the cock of Americana. In that actual rig, I was so happy. So why would I want to get rid of that?